Welcome to day 11 of my A4 advent calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program the most important interfaces of A4R 8-bit microcontrollers. Last time we've talked a little bit about your communication and today I want to um, extend my word program a little bit. So here you can see I have added an LED to a pin here and I want to uh, implement the UART loopback, this means I will send back everything I have received and I want to also toggle this LED here in the fixed interval. So let me CD into my A4 advanced calendars folder and here I will copy um, yeah, this folder 10 UART to 11 UART. Now let me CD into it and let's adjust the program here a little bit. So here we have our um, yeah, our send um, routine or a loopback routine, and now I will init LED pin. So therefore I have to set the data direction register of part B to 1 shifted by PB0, because I've connected the LED to PB0. And down here, let's do a port B um, XOR 1 shifted by PB0, and then we will add a delay MS of 250 milliseconds. So now I want to um, have this UART loopback and to toggle this LED. So let me compile my program and let's flash it. Okay, I have to give it my password. Okay, but the LED is not, now not blinking. So is my um, serial loopback working at least? Let's try it with screen. So if I type in an A, Okay, now it sends back a B, but it also toggles the GPIO. If I type in a D, okay, it's working, but I have to send a char, so the LED is toggling. So what is the problem here? Well, the problem is we are using a blocking function here. So here we are using the send char receive char function here. And here in this receive function, this function waits as long as we receive um, a new char and then it returns. And this is causing the LED not to blink. But how can we change this? Well, the answer is the answer is we have to use an interrupt. So we have to um, implement or we have to enable an interrupt, which is always triggered when we are receiving a new char, and then we will send it back. So how can we do this? So here is the datasheet of the Mega ADA APM microcontroller again, and here we are in the UART control and status register B. And here at the end we have some pins here. So here we, bit 7 here is the RX complete interrupt enable. And if we enable this bit, an interrupt will be generated every time we, rece we, are rece we receive a new character. We could enable um, an interrupt when we have complete ascending of a char and we could also um, enable interrupt when the data register is empty. But for our use case, we just need to set bit 7, the RX complete interrupt enable. Okay, so let me change this program a little bit here. So first, I will need the include a4r slash interrupt .h and then I will need an interrupt service routine. And the vector I will use is usart rx vector. Okay, with CLI I will disable the interrupts shortly. Then I will set the your data register 0 to your data register 0 plus 1. And then I will globally enable interrupts again with say. And that's our interrupt service routine. Now down here in the UART initialization, we also have to set um, the RX interrupt enable bit and we have to globally enable interrupts with say. Okay, this should be a brace here, okay. And now I can delete this function here because this will be done by our interrupt service routine here. Okay, so let me try to compile the program. 
Oh, okay, I got an error here. Let me check for a second. Rx CIA. Oh, Rx complete. Yeah, I've made a mistake here. So this should be Rx complete interrupt enable zero. Rx complete interrupt enable. Yeah, now, now it's okay. So let me try to compile it again. Now it worked. So I can flash it here. Okay, flashing work. And now you can see the LED is toggling. Now let's check if the um, if the UART loopback is also working. So here I'm specifying the device I want to use and here is the baud rate I want to use. Now I'm typing a one and I should get a two. Yes, it's working perfectly fine. Okay, cool. So that's how to use um, interrupts with the UART interface. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. And I hope I will see you in my video tomorrow. Bye.